Hello YouTube airgun enthusiasts. Today I'm going to shoot my second um, 100 meter airgun contest. 100 meters, about 110 yards. I'm going to shoot it at a place called the Tike in Friesland in Holland. I'm going to, well, I guess I'm going to take you along and I hope you enjoy it. Anybody who does serious shooting knows that you take a lot of stuff with you when you go on the road. Well, what sort of gear am I packing today? First of all, I have my trusted HW77 air gun. It's in 177 caliber. It has a Bushnell Elite 6500 scope on it. And I custom made the stock myself last summer. It took me a lot of time to make it really long and it has a couple of uh, features. First of all, this sort of carve out to accommodate the rest. So the thing will rest in exactly the same spot, rocking, rocking rest. I saw that on YouTube and I really like the, the idea of recoil and sort of coming back in the same position every time. So that's what I use for rest gun pallets H uh, JSB uh, Express 177 I weigh these guys and then I put them in this box so I'm going to shoot six targets five pellets each earmuffs if somebody has a loud gun this is a uh, a spring gun only, so there's not going to be much sound, but it, it's, an, it's an open range, so there will be other people there. So it's spring gun only, 100 meters. I made this earmuff, sort of, to get a little bit rest for my eye, for extra light. Uh, for my left hand, to mark your targets, extra pellets to side in and a small range bag sort of accommodate a lot of stuff and now I need some food and I'm gonna go on the road so a bit more technical stuff you can only use spring guns the range is 100 meters the caliber is free most people will use 177 or 22 caliber. You can only use a front rest and you have to shim your gun to get on target. And what shimming is, I will explain the close up of the gun that I use. So here's the mounting system and watch the difference between the front and the back mount. There's a gap in the back mount. And that's to make the arc go up. Scope is pointing down, muzzle is pointing up. And I don't know if you can see that, that, but that is ice. And we're coming to a place where it has no heating. So I'm taking a really nice thick coat. And uh, sort of a, I think it's a ski trouser, sort of to isolate me from the cold. Weighting all the pellets, uh, I'm not too fussy about the weights, but the ones I do chunk out are the ones with a big weight difference. So if you got something like um, you're weighing an average of seven, nine, eight, and you got something like eight twenty, you throw them out, or really light, let's say seven, nine, eight, seven, eight, zero. You throw those out, those are the bad ones, and um, the rest you just keep. And you can sort of order them like this. So when you get your pellet sorted out, it sort of looks like this. And this is what I take with me to sort of get into the challenge. And you keep your fingers crossed for me, because I had no time to prepare. And... Uh, Gonna need all the best I can get. A 
was quite a drive to, uh, for Dutch standards to go to Friesland. It's about one and a half hours from where I live. So we're going to speed things up. Well, wouldn't you know it? A traffic jam. So, we're a bit lighter. We're closing in. It's a long way. It's a long way. This is about halfway. Nou, het is geen wedstrijd materiaal. Oké, ik ga deze. Only the last one. Jeroen is 287. Hey, nou, dat is mooi. We hebben een prijs. Ja, ja, ja. 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 
Hij heeft in totaal 292 punten. Zo. Foto. Mooi. Gert, maar... Dat ik niet verwacht. Sorry, de eerste prijs is maar niet. Het is ook een heel goed prijs. Hier is de laatste wedstrijd, hè? Well, contest is over, and I don't know what my score is exactly. I think it was 273, and what I ended up was well, it's not top three because competition is stiff in Holland. A lot of good shooters. I want to give my thanks to the place Norderloft. That's the shooting range. These guys are great. You know, Rule, Jonas, Hans, thank you very much. I had a lovely day. And uh, I'll show you the results when I get home. Look at these windmills. So, how did I do? Well, I was fifth out of 15 competitors. Uh, but I had a lot of problem with height. Stringing. So the first couple of ones were sort of on target and then I went high and I had to click a lot, 10 clicks low and I ended up at that group. And I really like to have that all the way. <laughs> but it's a huge challenge. And if you're shooting a lot of air guns, give it 100 meters a try. It's really fun. See you around. Bye-bye.